Welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan. Here is what I have for you all today. Temporal lobe seizures are commonly called focal seizures with impaired awareness actually. Temporal lobe epilepsy is known to be the most common cause of partial seizures. However, there is not much known about the correlation of their clinical features of the temporal lobe epilepsy with specific image findings that can be seen on an MRI. So in this single centered observational study that I am talking today, the researchers evaluated the association between the semiology of temporal lobe epilepsy with specific etiological findings as identified on an MRI scan. This was a study in which consecutive patients presenting with clinical features diagnostic of the temporal lobe epilepsy, they underwent a brain MRI. So a total of close to 90 patients were included with the mean age of the study population being around 29 years. Females comprised about 45% of the total sample. The mesial temporal sclerosis was the most common image finding in about 60% of the patients. 4 out of 5 patients had an aura, whereas 70% had automatisms. So the findings of the study highlighted that the presence of aura in temporal lobe epilepsy patients was significantly associated with mesial temporal sclerosis on an MRI scan. So the presence of automatism as well as a history of childhood febrile seizures did not actually have a significant association with any specific etiological finding on an MRI scan. So the presence of dual pathology on MRI was associated with drug refractory epilepsy. Hence the researchers concluded that the presence of aura and drug refractory epilepsy both together actually point towards the presence of mesial temporal sclerosis. Dual pathology on an MRI in temporal lobe epilepsy patients may be a risk factor for drug refractory epilepsy as well. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.